I have been a professional photographer for over 70 years. Uh, in about a month, I'll be 95. I started photography when I was in high school. I self-taught. I found a kitten in the snow, and I picked the kitten up and put him in my pocket and brought him home. And as the kitten grew, I began to take pictures of the kitten. And that's what started me on cat photography. No matter what camera you have, you can do good cat pictures with it. And this is one of the reasons why cat photography on the internet has become so popular. One of the most desirable cat photographs is where there's straight eye contact with the camera. Next to that would be action, where an action with a cat could be just lifting a paw, for instance, or we would get the cat to sit up. Then another appealing thing would be to get a cat just washing, for instance. Invariably, after a cat eats, the cat will wash. So if I wanted a cat to wash his face, I would feed him and then he would start licking his face. I'm going to give away one of my trade secrets now. To get the cat to wash more energetically, maybe we would put some mayonnaise around his mouth. But if the cat does not cooperate with one thing, try another. And then if it still doesn't cooperate, go back to one of the original ones. And somewhere along the line, the cat will say, hey, these people want me to work and he'll, he'll cooperate. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. The most common mistake is lack of patience. Because if you're patient and you know a cat will do a certain thing, if you wait long enough and you have time to wait, you'll get the picture. And hopefully, when they look at my book, they will be inspired to do pictures that are somewhat more above the ordinary and be more satisfied with the pictures that they made.